just thought it might help, Roy. Do you want me to read it out? Please. Yes. OK, right. A dry clean suit. Which one do you want to wear? Wedding suit. Yeah? Oh, you could maybe borrow one of ties. That won't be necessary. Shall we move on? Yes. Polish your best shoes. She's underlined that for some reason. And um, she wants you to speak to Susie. Regarding what? Doesn't say. Anyway, I've asked her to pop round. Only because I thought it'd save you the hassle. But, I mean, I can ring No, her. no, no. Is there, is there anything else? No, nothing important. I'll fetch the suit. There you go, my little pudding. Get it down, yeah? And you can grow up big and strong like your mummy. Choke on it. Thank you, dearest. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate. Be out of your hair in a minute. And how's my beautiful little girl this morning? I think you'll find she's my beautiful little girl. I think you'll find there's enough of her to go around. Oh, chubby little arm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Give her an eating disorder before she's even got any teeth. Max, is there any chance you can turn that down? I'll do it. I'm trying to watch it. Yeah, and I'm trying to work. Come on, you. Upstairs. Brush your face, wash your teeth. It's brush your teeth, wash your face. That's what I said. No, you didn't. I don't know why he can't watch that stuff on his own telly. Because you're in his bedroom. That's why. All right. Morning. What can I get you? Bacon barn, please. I suppose I'd better get one of these. Oh, someone's peckish. I've been at it since six. Early bird, eh? I'm physically asleep, so it's sort of kept me awake. Hi, love. Um, Roy needs this dry clean. Right. And how is it? Yeah. He seems more with it. Good. How about you? You're up early. What's the matter? Did your bed catch a light? Oh, you're hilarious. That's right. You're not working in the shop today, are you? Nope. It's my day off, so I'm helping out the shelter. Oh, oh Mum, don't make that face. So it's very commendable you wanting to help other people. It really is, but there must be other ways of doing it. Like what? A sponsored bungee jump or dressing up as an axe murderer? Seriously, I don't see a problem with me helping out the shelter. What, apart from the mini crime wave I've been subjected to? I should have to think what would have happened if he hadn't been here. Oh, yeah. Um, talk about scary. Hey, Mum, I bet the papers would be well interested in what Tim did. Tim the same? Yeah. You said it yourself, he's practically a hero. All right, there's no need to go OTT. Mm, I'm seeing Pride of Britain. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to look into it. No way. <laughs> we'll discuss it later. There's nothing to discuss. What's your game? I could ask you the same thing. This is good. The business proposals go, this is pretty decent. Well, don't sound so surprised. <laughs> These uh, equipment costs, it's solid. Yeah, give or take a few hundred either way. It's not cheap. Well, brand new, they're almost three times as much. Plus, I can do most of the maintenance myself. Well, you thought of everything? <laughs> not quite. But hey, that's why I got you. Well, this all looks a bit suspect. What's going on? Dev is about to green light the gym. Wow, great. When do I sign mm, up? She, that's the attitude I like to hear. I can just see you decked out in lycra. Oh, really? All right, man, he's back on the front, yeah? 
Oh, no, 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 come on, no, please. No, 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 no. I didn't mean I could actually like, like, like you know, but picture you in lycra. Well, that's good because I don't actually wear lycra. No, that's good. I'm more of a baggy t shirt, sweatpants sort of girl, you know, nothing sexy. No, I was glad to hear it. You're glad to hear I'm not sexy? No, no, no. I, I saw you digging there, Dave. Let me know when you reach China. <coughs> right, I better be going then. How much? Uh, it's my treat. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Dev. I've never been so grateful to be unsexy in my life. Smooth. Very smooth. <laughs> Come in, the door's open. Hi, Roy. Good morning. Right, um, I'll make myself scarce. Uh, I prefer you stayed. Save me from answering copious questions afterwards. Oh, you found the album. OK, then. So where would you like to begin? W wherever you think appropriate. Sorry. Normally... Uh, stop you there. Just so we understand each other from the outset, there is little about this situation which might be described as normal. You may continue. Look who's popped over. Hi, Amy. Hey. Oh, are you feeling any better? Do you know what, Amy? I think a change of scenery will do you good. Why don't you come next door with me? Nah, you're OK. Oh, come on. I can take the afternoon off. We can watch your film. Not in a film mood. Right. Well, there must be something you want to do. Uh, isn't there a game that you wanted from Mummy's shop? Zelda. Uh, that's the one, yeah. But I've not got enough pocket money. Right, well, how much is this game? £15. And how much have you got? £3. Oh, right, that's tricky. Well, I suppose I could have a word with the boss, you know, come to some sort of arrangement. Mm. Hang on a minute. I am the boss. Three pounds and it's yours. One pound. Hmm. Two pound fifty? Two pound. Done. Yay! <laughs> and you have been. <laughs> Go and pack a bag. She saw me coming. Well, it's a miracle she sees you at all. Not messing up. Then I'll say a few closing words. I'll talk about how Haley will be remembered in the hearts and minds of her friends and loved ones. I'll ask everyone to stand. The music she chose will be played and the memorial will conclude. Have you decided on the readings? I think that's all in hand, yeah. So, in terms of celebrating Haley's life, I'd like to share some of my thoughts with you. Feel free. Thank you. I'm building up a picture of a person who always cared for others, always put herself last. Yeah, that was Haley through and through. You disagree, Roy? In the circumstances, my input would probably be counterproductive. Well, that's as may be, but I'd still like to hear it. You know, it's OK to be angry. Grief is incredibly complicated. So I'm discovering. And we don't always get to say what we want before the end. Or in the aftermath. I think we should maybe call this a day. I can't change what's happened. But I am here to listen. And if something's bothering you, I don't know, the choice of music, for instance? The inclusion of music was my wife's choice. The type of funeral that you've outlined was my wife's choice. The fact that I am sat here today polishing my best shoes today was my wife's choice. I just didn't see it come in. This morning, he seemed OK, he did. He seemed, like, more together. Then with Susie, he just went off on one. And did he tell her, I mean, you know about... He didn't. 
to say it outright, but I think she got the gist. Have we got anything to worry about? No, I don't think so. She's really sound. I got a lot out of listening to her, actually. Well, that's summer, isn't it? How was Roy when you left? Don't know. Hard to say norm, I suppose. Well, he's lost the love of his life, and he? You don't get over that in a couple of days, believe me. Do you want me to come and see him with you later? What if I make it worse? How can things get any worse? How about this one? This one's all right. I don't have the cheekbones. Uh, this one? It's kind of cool. I wouldn't know what to do with cool. <laughs> right, well, what exactly are you imagining, then? Well, where to start? To be honest, I just want to look nice for Hayley's funeral. I mean, you look nice already. Well, I, I'll tell you what, we could give you a balancing treatment for your flaky scalp, and then a colour, blow dry. Hayley will be chuffed with that. Oh, OK. I have a flaky scalp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do, big time. But I'll let you think about it, all right? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Is there any chance you could fit me in tomorrow? Uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah, great. Everything all right at home? Yeah, yeah, good. Crowded. What? I'm just saying it as it is. Take the notice of her. All right, we can call. Oh, can we? Is everything all right with Nick? What, you mean, has he lost it again? No. Me, on the other hand... Oh, don't worry about it, all right? It's not your problem. Come on, you two, get a wriggle on. So what are you going to do now? Don't know. Might get the Uber out. You were yesterday. Why don't you nip into town and see if there's anything on at the cinema? I can't. I'm skin. So's me, no. Here, just take this. We've been through this before. I'm not taking money off you. Look, just pay me back another time. I've still got me pride. Tar, but no tar. <sighs> Have you talked to her yet? Still waiting to find the right moment. Have you got a minute? Thank you, quick. Um, I just wanted to say how gutted I am about Hayley. And, well, I'm really sorry about your loss. I know you were pretty close. Yeah, we were. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say, really. Mm -hmm. How's your job hunting going? Oh, slow. Let's face it, my CV's not exactly pulling up trees, and as for my people skills, yeah, it must be tough. I've had it tougher. Don't worry, I'll find something. <laughs> or you could just come back and work for me. Seriously? When, uh, when, when do you want me to start? When do you want to start? Now? Good answer. Mm. Harry was lucky to have you as a mate. Oh, I was a lucky one. We all were, Beth. Clonk? That's not a real word. Uh, yes, it is. You know, like when you clonk somebody over the head. Right then, I'm having flop. A flop? What's a flop? It's, um, a puppy with floppy ears. A flop. You are such a little cheater. At least I'm not a dumbo. <gasps> what did you just call me? You heard, you cheeky little thing. <laughs> <laughs> you two sound as if you're having fun. Oh, sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> can we get some more juice? Of course you can, love. That's nice. What is? Seeing the two of you together. She's a laugh. She's your daughter. Mum, I'm trying to get a business off the ground. I'm working every hour under the sun. And all the while, Amy's getting older. Look, Tracy, you can make all the excuses you like, but remember, you only get one crack at this. I 
I need to talk to you. Sorry, I've got to go. Uh, I haven't decided yet. That's the good thing about being homeless. You can go anywhere you want. Does that include other people's houses? I've told you, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't believe you. So why don't you call the cops? Because I don't want to. Because you know you can't prove it. Because I don't want to get you in trouble. Why do you care what happens to me? I just do. And I really want to help you. So give us that 50 quid you owe me. <laughs> You're unreal. I owe you nothing but a slap. Is that your idea of helping someone? You're just the same as all the rest. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That was a bit wrong. Which bit? When you accuse me of robbing your house or when you threaten me? Look, my dear, whether you broke into my house or not, you still stole my mum's watch. So why would we give you money to get it back? Because I need it more than you do. I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. I really, really want to help you. But I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Like I said, I don't want your help. I want my £50. What? So you can buy drugs? Drugs? I won't judge you. <laughs> you really don't get us at all, do you? And for your information, it's not even for me. So who's it for, then? Forget it. Tell me. Get off. I did, please. My mum. And before you ask, she's even more messed up than me. There's a site near Victoria Court that looks promising. It's not on the main road, Hi. but it's, uh, well, the lease is next to nothing. Right, so is this a proper joint venture with Dev, then? A new percent. Of course, I'll be doing the day-to-day -day stuff, you know, managing personal training and the like. And Dev will have more of a, well, how can I put it, strategic overview. It's so basically me. <laughs> <laughs> have you decided what you're going to wear Friday? I'm going to wear um, a sparkly leather jacket with a flash of colour. No, not really. I mean, she said something colourful, but you don't want to go all TT, do you? No, I know what you mean. It's probably best to leave that hot pink leather cat suit for another occasion, eh, Sal? <laughs> Be back in a minute. Before you get any ideas, there's no pink leather cat suit. You all right? Yeah, I've just had a stressful day, that's all. You know the best way to de-stress? A hardcore workout in a quality fitness environment. Cal's thinking of opening up a gym with Dev. Seriously? Yeah, it's the growth business for the new millennium. Ah, oh, if you say so. Well, you don't look too impressed. Oh, I'm just trying to think who round here is going to use it. Well, people who want to look after themselves, you know, get in shape, people like you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Not doing very well, are you? Yeah, all I'm saying is that we're inclusive and everybody's welcome. I've got a question. Far away. So, Dev owns a kebab shop, and now the pair of you are going to have a gym. Is that not a conflict of interests? I mean, I'm not being funny, but a large donor, as delicious as that may be, it's not very nutritious, is it? All the more reason to remember that Dev is just an investor. So he won't be giving chilli sauce rub-downs, then? Ah, uh, did you? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to start wearing dungarees or else, but I swear to God, I could have kissed Carla when she gave me my job back. Well, just make sure you don't blow it again. The place isn't the same without you. Mm -hmm. What it means is it's quiet. Uh, what's that? What's it look like? You said you didn't even have enough money to go to pictures. This is my emergency fund. I'm not going to waste it on going to the pictures, am I? Uh, two pints, two whiskey chases and a lemonade for her ta. I could do with getting fitter. What do you reckon? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Now, I'm no expert on women cock, but I'm sure the answer Sally was looking for is... Take it away, Miss Leanne. Don't worry about it, love. You look amazing as you are, and if anybody tells you any different, they'll have me to answer to. Bingo. <laughs> Come on, love. We'll just have one drink. Hi, mate. How's things? Uh, yeah, great. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, Mum, uh, I've just remembered something. Put it go. Did you have a good time? Awesome. Ooh, what was your new game like? I didn't really play it. No, because we did other stuff, didn't we? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, she seems better. Yep, she just needed a mum, that's all. Well, no argument here. I'm going to do better, Steve. Well, I hope so, Tracy, because Amy deserves better. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> hey, uh... Good evening. What are you doing? Cooking. Why aren't you cooking upstairs? I, I just brought Carla to her. I came to see how you are, love. 
Well, how I am is hungry, so if you'll excuse me, I, I would like to leave. Ah. Here, take this with you. I brought it down to dispose of it. It's yours if you wish. Have you not even looked at it? No, nor do I intend to. Roy, what's going on? You have to be more specific. Well, you, you're not really yourself, love, all right? I, Fizz told me you got a bit upset earlier. You nearly said something you shouldn't. You are referring to the truth. Roy, what's done is done. It's not going to help anyone you getting yourself into trouble. You talk as if I have something to lose. But no matter what you're feeling, Haley wouldn't want... No, Haley isn't here. So she doesn't get to choose how I'm supposed to feel. Not now. Love, I'm sure things will make more sense after the funeral. I shan't be attending the funeral. What? Roy, no, you can't do that. I have allowed my wife to take her own life. Forgive me if I'm not in the mood to celebrate. Excuse me. Well, the tasteful surroundings of a posh hotel and restaurant hide a very dark secret next tonight here on ITV. Barnaby and Nelson are back at work with a brand new Midsummer Murder. <laughs> 